welcome back to So This Is Thailand and Expert Advice. Now today we have a subject that I think you would have appreciated on the very first show, especially for all the expats who are coming here to work, and that's about mm. the whole cultural aspect. Yeah, it's, an exp um, it's a topic you've been trying to crack for a very long time. <laughs> Indeed, and I'm half Thai. Mm. So don't feel bad if you haven't gotten there yet. But we do have our expert today, the coach, we might say, Kun Kriensak Nirat Patanasayna. Swadikap, and uh, how are you doing? Good, <laughs> don't, good. don't know which way to do it. <laughs> I, I know, you know, something as, as simple as, a, as an introduction, as a greeting, as a foreigner here, you know, we, we want to kind of adapt. Do we why? Do we shake? Do we do both? Um, you know, these are the kinds of questions that, or challenges that, we, you know, a lot of expats face when they come here. You know, as a coach, what is your, your main goal, I guess? Uh, you can, why? I, I think that's, that would be nice. You can check hand uh, people. I think Thai is not quite serious about that. Uh, it depends on your, your comfortable level. But why? Uh, if I can see that a lot of forang is why better than Thai, you know? The, the mm. One person is the President Obama when he, why the, the I think the Japanese uh, emperor, very, very humble. So it's nice if you can practice that, but if you check hand, people don't. I think Thai is quite relaxed that our culture, so so we don't see less about that. Yeah. Oh, very good. <laughs> so uh, tell us about some of your areas of expertise. I know that you've written lots of books. Mm -hmm. What kind of subjects do they cover? Okay, I think main, my main subject is uh, human communication, one-on-one -on -one communication. So I do one-on-one -on -one executive coaching uh, for expat is uh, how to adapt and work with Thai. For the Thai is how to work in the multinational corporation, how to be assertive, mm -hmm. how to uh, be a good leadership. So that's the area that I'm working on. Yeah. Well, speaking of books, you know, we have a couple of your books actually here in the studio, and one of them talking about that managing in cross-cultural situation. You know, how how do you teach someone a different culture? Because it's not really something you learn in the classroom as mm -hmm. you do in real life. Yes. Uh, when we talk about culture shocks, okay, let, let's say expat come to Thailand. On the average, it takes about 18 months for people to really effective working with Thai. But if we can dig down into three categories, you can have three groups. The first group is quick learners. This quick learners probably take another just only six months, so uh, they can learn how to work with Thais. The moderate learners, uh, probably about one year. And the last category, I call them a stubborn. Okay. <laughs> uh, they say that, oh, I understand Thai, I don't need that. Usually it takes them uh, two or three years to really accept, understand, and let go how to work with Thai. Yeah. Hmm. So what are some of the traits of the quick mm -hmm. learners? What oh. are really good to help you get along? Okay, the quick learner, I think, uh, the, the quickest one is uh, buy my books because, okay, this is something mm -hmm. that you, you need to learn from the locals. Mm -hmm. And this book is, has published for eight years now. Mm -hmm. And usually people don't buy it by themselves. Uh, either expat friend uh, bought it for <laughs> them or recommend them or right. a Thai staff bought it for them. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, so the staff be like, you need this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so usually they call survival survival guides. Okay. Mm -hmm. But a lot of expats, they don't need to read this book. If they really try to understand uh, that human being is different, uh, Thai are uh, unique cultures, so they learn, observe, and try to understand, and try to hold their judgment, be mm -hmm. empathies to, to the Thai. I think that the quick learners uh, uh, traits. Mm -hmm. Some of the things I've noticed is that Thai people really love it when uh, foreigners make an effort to learn Thai. Yes, yes, that's true. Even as, uh, just a small talk or Thai words, mm -hmm. you know, at least it shows the effort and care that, hey, I try to adapt. I think any culture, is, if we go to anywhere in the world, if you try to learn the local uh, language, just a simple one, simple ones, you know, greetings, uh, thank yous, you know, I, I think people will say, hi, at least this guy uh, try to make effort. Yeah. Mm. You know, we were talking about beforehand looking at an expat, and it really, this, this cross-cultural difficulty is not just 
Westerners, let's say, coming here into Thailand, but it's for even Thais, let's say, traveling to a, a neighboring country. Mm -hmm. What what is, I guess, the the profile of people who choose or are selected to work overseas? Usually, people go overseas uh, is they they are hire shipper. Okay, they if from the west they come to this part of the world because they know this is there are some hardship here. There are some difficulties, you know, in terms of convenience and comfortable is we are not as in, in Europe or in, in US. So they come to Thailand with some sacrifice uh, mentalities. But in order to trade up carriers, so they think come to Thailand three years, four years, uh, deliver something great and then move uh, to home office or other place that larger responsibilities. So that the burden for any expat. On the other hand, a lot of Thai people now working overseas. You know, we send people to you know, Indonesia, uh, Burma, Laos, Cambodians. Uh, everyone wants to go there for a few years, come back and, and get promotion, right? So everyone have a clear target to deliver. Okay, I think that is the cause of the problem, because we have a tendency to ignore the people part. We want to deliver something very fast, so we just go, you know, uh, mm. just go to the works part. Yeah. That is the trap. Uh, mostly the expat come to Thailand also have the same problems. Mm. Yeah. What are some of the most common problems that are encountered by expats when they come here and meet with the Thai workforce? Okay, I think the common uh, Thai values that most expats uh, uh, quite difficult to understand is Sabai Sabai attitude, Kreng Chai, Auso, seniorities, mm. you know, and saving face. Mm. Okay. So this uh, saving face, uh, considerate, and the, the seniorities are the difficult for expat, particularly the West, you know, because they come from the cultures that are more equal, okay, more assertive, and, and, and quite direct. So it's take a while for they try to understand, hmm, this is well, here, yeah. Well, look, you know, mentioning that, you know, looking at the assertiveness, I know that as a, as a Westerner, you know, we are very direct. If we see something that's wrong, we say it. If we see an employee who doesn't perform like we say, we, we give criticism. But it, it doesn't get received here as it would in the U.S. You know, I might be encouraged or try harder. Where here, it's, as you mentioned, it, it's kind of tied to with that saving face mm -hmm. almost. You know, in, in your courses, in your, your, your coaching of, of expats, how do you teach them the social mannerisms, the cultural mannerisms? I, usually, I tell them that the first clue is yeah, patient. Okay. Patient observes and don't judge Thai people based on your standard. That's the critical one. Don't pass your standard or your judgment or your assumption to Thais. Try to understand from their point of view. Yeah. See a lot of problems, I think. <laughs> a lot of frustration get, get solved that way. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. I think uh, most of the time when we talk about foreigners, we think of um, Westerners, Europeans, maybe Americans. But uh, increasingly, we have foreigners from Japan, and um, China now, mm -hmm. and uh, Middle Eastern so coming to do business here. Do they pose a different set of problems, or is it the same? Uh, I think in usually among Asian, the challenging one is probably Indians, okay? mm. because uh, Indians by nature they are quite uh, assertive, you know, and and quite outspoken. Mm. Okay, uh, Singaporean also. Uh, quite similar to the Western because they are very business oriented, you know, result oriented. Right. So this is uh, even we are Asian, but we are not quite the same. Yeah. Mm. Well, well, looking at the flip side, you know, I know a lot of people are thinking that, well, hey, you know, I'm I'm doing my my effort to understand the my Thai counterparts. Is there anything that the local staff here or the, the people, you know, the, the the supporting staff or the other managers who are Thai? can do to help make their communication, their relationship with expats better? I, I think that's a good point. Uh, this bridging the gap, it doesn't mean that only foreigners uh, have to adapt to Thai. I think Thai also uh, have to adapt to foreigners. 
and we are talking about AECs, uh, again, we need to understand other cultures, not only Thais. So uh, if Thais people who are working with foreigners, we should not use our judgment to judge other parties. Okay? If I'm Thai, you are foreigners, and I thought, oh, you have to learn to understand Thai. No, I need to understand you also, because it's a mutual you know, um, learning and, and adapt. Yeah. Is that something that can be taught? Um, I know that you're the coach, and um, when you conduct uh, workshops or seminars, um, do, do people kind of walk away with it, you know, and just a turnaround? Is it as simple as that? Uh, from my experience, mm -hmm. usually when people come to Thailand in, in the first few months, they don't think they need this kind of coaching and learnings because they think that, hey, uh, I'm quite experienced working with other people before. So, it's, mm -hmm. it's, and I come to Thailand many times, it's a nice country, Thai seems to be <laughs> easy going. I, I think I don't have problem mm -hmm. working with that. Yeah. It takes time for a few months and then they will see, ah, okay, mm -hmm. it's not, Thai is not quite easy. Yeah. Even among Thais, I will say that a lot of Thai executives also have difficulty to working with Thais, you know, but again, because we are local, we learn to adapt more. Yeah. Well, before we leave, we've been talking about all the help that you can offer out there and some of the, you know, the books that you, you've written as well. So, once again, Bridging the Gap. Expat Survival Guide. Expat Survival <laughs> Guide, exactly. If they would like to find out more about you know, your coaching services or you know, what they can do differently, you know, sooner rather than later, as you mentioned, how can they contact you or, or find yes. the book? Uh, they can go to my website, thaicoach.com. Just uh, direct spelling, T-H-A-I. C O A C H dot com, and uh, you can search in YouTube. Also, I have I put up a lot of, of tapes on YouTube teaching the Thai and expat how to work together. Yeah, so that that would help. And this book is not only hard copy. You can also buy ebook from Asia Book now. So there are plenty of resource that people can can self study uh, before. Yeah. Excellent. And uh, don't wait for someone to gift it to you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, if, 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 yeah, if you find that you're at that point where you need to get it, it's, you've, uh -oh. already, you've already passed that point. So. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, I, if you think about it, a, a good manager should be prepared anyway. They should understand that you, know, you never uh, try to do something unless you know what you're doing and have mm -hmm. all the information. So yes. hopefully they'll uh, learn to adapt, bridge yep. the gap. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's good, yeah. Well, Coach, thank you very much for joining us. If you do have any questions at home or wherever you are, would like to find out more information, you know, why does Thai do this or how can I do this better or what we can change, please do contact us because we can always have the good coach back on the show for you. But unfortunately, that is all the time we have today. There's more to come, though, on So This is Thailand.